Oh, well, hello there, Shook. It has been too long, baby. And what can Nurse Boots do for you today? Oh, don't worry, it's been going around. Oh, don't be embarrassed, baby. I can take a look for you and see if you need any, any treatment. Don't worry. Oh, it is so good to see you, even if it's under medical circumstances. But I would love to take care of you. How's your mama been doing? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I just love you and your mama. It is so good to see you, sugar. Yes, I can do that for you. Let me just get my gloves on. Glove number one, and what's that? Glove number two. No surprises. I don't have any more hands than that. Just the two. Is that gonna be all right? Okay. Let me just get up here, and I'm gonna take a look. Okay. Okay. Okay, sugar. I'm just gonna take a look here. Okay. Just gonna. Through your heart, your little hairs apart, and okay. Let's see, we got mm. okay. Let's separate this next line of hair. We're going to separate this. Okay. Just going to go line by line. Make sure we're very thorough. Okay. Very thorough. Okay. How you been doing, baby? You ever... You ever have that talk with your friend or whoever it was? Oh, good. And you tell me, you tell Nurse Boots, how did that go? What we got here? Okay. You know, baby, I am seeing a little bit of these critters. Yes, do not be embarrassed, baby. Do not be embarrassed. What we got here? Okay. Go over this side. Okay. We're gonna take a look here. Okay. Okay. You tell Nurse Boots what I happened, and I would be absolutely just so happy to hear the results. Oh, baby, you know what? I am so proud of you. You know, regardless of whatever the outcome could have been, you did right by yourself and right by your friend or whoever. Yeah. You know, the most important thing is to talk things out. That is the mature thing to do, okay? So don't you worry yourself a bit, baby. I love you. And you have done so much. You have done me so proud. Oh, baby, there are definitely some critters. Do not be embarrassed. Do not be embarrassed, baby. I'm telling you, there are plenty of people, plenty of your classmates, who have been sent home. So if anybody tries to... Oh, what's that? Oh, we got some nets as well. Okay. If anybody tries to give you any grief whatsoever, you tell them Nurse Boots analyzed their head as well. And plenty of them, if they haven't been sent home this year, they have been sent home in a previous year. Because they are not immune. It's just the season, baby. It's just this time of year. They 
they love it. They love this time of year, the weather. Okay. Well, right up on your ear. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's get up here in the front. see how much there are. It seems like a pretty average amount of these of these little critters, baby. Oh, seriously. Do not feel embarrassed. You know what? If anybody gives you grief, just like I said, if it wasn't this year, it was the year before or the year before that. Oh, it has nothing to do with hygiene, baby. In fact, them last love clean air. It is easier to move around. It is easier to move around when everything's all nice and clean. So, if anybody tries to tell you, oh, you're dirty, you don't wash, tell them. If they haven't gotten nits, they haven't gotten lice, you know what, maybe their hair is just too greasy, then lice cannot walk around. <laughs> you tell them I said, oh, I'm just kidding. Definitely do not tell them I said that. <laughs> Your school be <laughs> not very happy with me. But you know what? I just, you are so near and dear to my heart, baby. And I love you. And I will always fight for you. I will always fight for you, baby. Okay. Alright. You know, it is looking very much like you definitely need me to go through this. With a nice comb. Very, very good comb for getting rid of lice. It's designed for it, baby. And then I'm gonna tell your mama you might need a prescription for some treatment. Like a like a cream you put through your hair. It's gonna it's gonna burn real bad. Might feel cold and then feel hot. But you know what, baby? It will help take care of it. Make sure none of these eggs come back to life. <laughs> but I will do my very darn best today to make sure that we get make sure we get as much of this out of your hair as possible oh baby oh do not fret you are doing just fine I'm gonna get your hair a bit wet okay baby I need to spray it down okay all right Get your hair nice and wet. Okay. Do not worry, baby. I always found these these little comb throughs, these scalp checks. I found them so relaxing, baby. I'm telling you. The nurse I had when I was growing up. She was so relaxed and I could listen to her voice for ages, baby. I, in fact, absolutely loved it. I always wish I had lice when she did check me just so she'd comb me all that extra. Seriously, baby. Do not worry. You just sit back and relax. It's gonna feel so darn relaxing. You believe me. You believe me, baby. I got you. It's gonna feel so relaxing. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to emulate. That is a five dollar word for you. I'm gonna emulate nurse I had. What was her name? I wanna say Nurse Feather. She was so lovely. I'm gonna try to do the ambiance that she gave me. That's another $5 word for you, baby. I'm gonna use this comb. It is not as scary as it looks. It's got these little grooves in here to help pull all the nits out, okay, baby? Oh, you just don't worry about it. I'm gonna move this table over so I can get around you a little better. Okay. 
picking on you. You know they went home with lies today. Yes, they went home with lies. So they cannot give you any, any trouble. Alright. Oh, that's looking real good. I have a little water basin here. I'm just gonna rinse off the comb whenever we catch a little lice or a net. Oh, nets are what they call the eggs, baby. Don't know why, actually. Now that you're asking me, I have no clue. But we need to be very, very thorough. Okay. It might help. I can just chatter away if it would help you, just so you're not sitting in silence. Oh, you know what, baby? You tell your mama that that lasagna last time was so good. It was divine, baby. What are you getting up today? You getting? You have any crush on any hair schoolmates? Cause I swear, I had so many crushes. Oh, you don't worry. You don't worry. You could be a boy, girl, anyone else. All kinds of people out there in the world. All that matters to me, all that matters to Nurse Boots, is that you are happy, baby. Oh, you don't worry about that. Everyone here is going to love you the way you are. You don't need to know yet if you don't. You have been. You are part of my family. Blood does not matter. You are part of my family, baby. I have known your mama since we were both little schoolgirls. And you know what? I absolutely love her. And the day you were born was the day that the heavens opened up, baby. You are so special and so lovely. You do not need to worry so much, baby. You do not need to fret so much. It is okay to relax. It is okay to just let go. You just let go right now. How's that? You just enjoy this. I know it's a little gross, but it is not because you are not hygienic, baby. It is easier for them to move around. You just sit back and I'll try to be like Nurse Feather for you. Cause Nurse Boots is here. Nurse Boots is right here. Oh, here we go. Drip drop. There we go. Getting some action. Okay. Oh, there it is. Drip drop. Oh, you know what? There's a nice... <laughs> Happy little family here. You want me to tell you a story? Once upon a time. Once upon a time, baby. Oh, let's get back here. Let's get back here. Once upon a time, baby. There was a family of lice. And they had so many babies. And they found a happy little home on the most wonderful person. Yes. Yeah most wonderful person and that person had so much thick lovely hair <laughs> and amongst that hair they made a home baby <laughs> oh honey is that not helping i'm so sorry i know that sometimes sometimes humor can be helpful but i know sometimes we don't want to think about that you don't want to think about them little creepy crawlies. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. It is totally
totally normal, totally healthy. You know, I just keep telling you not to worry. I don't know what's wrong with me. You are so, so lovely. You know, your hair is so good. I love the color. It is just like your mama's when she was young. Yes. You are. You are very good looking. Oh. None of that nonsense, baby. I will not tolerate it for, for even one second. I will not tolerate that. I'm not going to be tolerating any, any self-negative talk. Because you are special. And you are dear to me. You are very lovely. And I am so blessed to know you. Okay. You are love. You are special, and you matter, and you are so, so loved. You are gonna do so much, baby, and it doesn't matter if you become the next president. It does not matter if you, if you end up just loving, digging dirt. It does not matter to me, and I'm telling you right now. It does not matter to your mama. We both just want you to be happy. We want you to be happy. We want you to be loved. And we are going to do our darndest to make sure you are never, ever on your lonesome, baby. Because you are everything. So don't worry about anyone else. You got nurse boots. We are making some real progress, and we are gonna do our darndest to make you happy. And I swear, baby, if there is anything you ever need to talk about, we love you. And you just, you just let me know. You just let me know. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. You know what? I am definitely going to recommend your mama some of that prescription treatment just to make sure this don't come back. Because, baby, there is definitely a lot of little critters. And I'm going to take them out. And I don't want your mama using any of that mayonnaise, home treatments. I want you to use the stuff. There's this brand called Cooties. And if you don't want to get the regular prescription, and the cooties one is very good. I know the name is funny. But it's okay, baby. It's okay. You're in good hands. You're in good hands. Okay. Okay. Oh. My love. My love. You know, I was just thinking... It has been a while since we have baked together, baby. We should get together this weekend, or maybe one day after your classes. And we could maybe, we could maybe put together a nice pecan pie. You do that for me. I get, you know, I get so lonesome on the weekend sometimes and after school. Sometimes, sometimes everybody's busy for me too, baby. You're not the only one. You can come on over to my house, and we can make a pecan pie. I just got back the pie tin from Betty, and so we will be able to make a nice big pie. She has been hoarding that thing for my way too long. <laughs> now don't tell, uh, don't tell that I said this. Bless her heart, she just does not remember anything. She is going senile. I swear it. I mean, everything hopefully will be fine. I don't mean any ill will. I'm just saying, there is something going. I have not seen that pie tin in so long. I'm going to be honest with you, baby. I was just looking to buy a new one. I didn't want to bother her. Thankfully, I didn't find one as big as that. You know, my, my, my mama made that pie tin. I have no idea how she did it. Oh, but I do miss her. 
Now it's good to have that family heirloom back. As weird as that sounds, that pie tin meant a lot to me. You know, baby, we are almost done here. We're almost done. And you are almost ready to go. You know, you get the rest of the day off after this. That's another good thing. Another good thing is how you get the rest of the day off. You don't gotta go to the rest of your classes, baby. You get a nice scalp massage. And you just get the pampering treatment. And then you get to go home and relax, sit on the couch, do whatever you want to do. And I will see you this weekend, baby. We will make a proper pecan pie, just like my mama used to make. You know, it's just something special when your mama makes it, isn't it? Yeah, I sure do miss her. You know what, baby? I will give all my love to you, just as if you were my own flesh and blood. Okay? I think you are looking good there, baby. You are looking good. I'm gonna send you home. I'm gonna write that prescription for your mama, okay? Hey, I love you. Everything's gonna be okay, baby. Everything is gonna be okay. I love you so much. You are so special. So near and dear to my heart. Okay. Just dispose of these biohazards <laughs> into this bin here. There we go. And let me tell you. It's gonna be okay. It is gonna be just fine, baby. It is not as bad as it seems. You are so, so loved and so special. I love you so much, baby. Okay. Alright. I will see you this weekend, baby. I love you. Alright. Make sure to tell your mama you're coming over. I don't want her wondering where you are. Okay. Okay, baby. You send in the next one. Yep, time to go.